This is Kokstad, one of the poorest regions in the KwaZulu-Natal province of South Africa. In Kokstad, 60% of the people are unemployed and living in poverty, with over 50% of these living in absolute poverty, with no income at all. Unlike Ireland, there is no social welfare system to support the unemployed. 40% of the people living in this area have HIV or AIDS, with up to 30% of these suffering from tuberculosis. Respond was asked to come to Kokstad by the Bishop of Kokstad, William Slattery, a Franciscan who has lived and worked in South Africa for more than 35 years. Respond were asked to bring their 27 years of experience of building communities, of relieving poverty and creating opportunity. Respond is working through Civile to provide housing and services on three sites. Hardenburg, where we are involved in the development of a respite centre. Shyamoya, where we are building a care precinct. And Kokstad Town, where we are developing and building an integrated housing development. Uh, there's grinding poverty across the whole area. It's the, the diocese is the size of Munster and there's huge poverty here and uh, great problems with HIV AIDS and tuberculosis which is on the increase uh, as well. As there's a whole generation of women, uh, of mothers missing. Uh, they had HIV AIDS and they have passed on. Shyamoya is a shanty township of over 10,000 basic homes. The South African government has provided two million houses in the last 10 years, but not of the standards that the people want. Shyamoya is built next to a dump where raw chemical, industrial, household and hospital waste is dumped. It also acts as a source of food for a large number of families and children of the township. Many hours each day are spent foraging for even the mouldiest pieces of food. This is the only stand tap to service nearly 5,000 homes. While the infrastructure is present, there is no money to run the water into the houses. Mr Nkosi, the Greater Coxstad Municipal Manager, explains the needs of this area. The greatest needs for the people of Shire Moya uh, is that one of healthcare facilities, uh, schools facilities. Here you've got a population of more than 12,000 and you don't even have a clinic. We are working with the local authority and other partners such as Yon Levantu, a home carers organisation, TLC, a hospice and caring organisation, and the Diocese of Kokstad itself to provide the much needed services for the poorest of these areas. My name is Teresa Louise Ulifir. I never actually dreamed that we will actually be so far ahead. When uh, uh, Respond uh, Sefile uh, approached us about a year ago, I actually thought, you know, come we see, you know, it's just a dream come true. And I think uh, we'll actually see what, what the facility actually means to the community. And there's too many sick people that's got to walk too far. Lusanda, a four-year-old baby girl who is HIV positive, lives in this typical one-room house with her granny. The hospital said she needs 40 days, she needs injections 40 days, but I mean for a granny to go to hospital, yes, and the little kid on her back, and that's impossible. Every three means he's critical ill, okay. and he needs to be visited by a, profession, uh, a professional nurse once a week. Okay, you know, and yes, there's medication yes. then both for the TV and the HIV? Yes, yes. You know, so he needs to go on to the ARV program okay. soon. You know, the problem is uh, they've got to go for schooling. So it's like yes. what we call uh, schooling for the ARV program. Yes. And yes. he's done one schooling, but okay. he was supposed to do the second schooling, but he was too ill to, to go, to, to, go to the hospital to actually do the schooling. And you know, there's so no great aid from government, uh, uh, financial aid? Not for TB. Of the 400 patients, they're all HIV. Um, and then, of course, I've got 155 patients that have got HIV and TB. And that scenario makes it so much worse because you've got two, two critical uh, illnesses in, in one. And uh, uh, if, if they do not get the proper treatment quick enough, um, they, then we can't help them. 
Respond's job here in Shyamoya is to build a drop-in centre for the aged and a treatment centre for those with HIV, AIDS and tuberculosis. What, what caused you to become a nurse? Uh, there may be many things uh, which caused me to become a nurse. Like I was, when I was brought up like in a poverty stricken area. Kolani Umbargata is the only male nurse for a region the size of Munster. Like many of the people working in this region, he is driven by the need to reduce the poverty people live within. The subject of your meeting today, the subject of my thoughts today, the subject of response thoughts today are the people. The people out there who are looking for skills, who are looking for employment, who are looking for health, who are looking for facilities for their children. That is the subject that we keep before our minds. In the town of Coxstad, we plan to build 750 homes where integration of those on lower incomes and those on higher incomes will occur. We will also build the social supports that go towards building a truly integrated community. Because it's a development which is to do with the very business of Respond. Um, as I say, we wouldn't build houses for shelter. It's not for segregated communities. It's looking at ways in which we can integrate uh, poorer people with richer people and with the very rich people. Um, it is, we're, we're running a program here uh, for training uh, in um, basic building uh, technology and building skills. Uh, we will be putting in some training uh, units here which will take up like uh, areas whole uh, dressmaking, uh, cookery. Uh, we have one of our own staff coming out from Ireland who will train people in nutrition and how to cook and uh, you know uh, the, the best way of using the, the local produce and the local facilities uh, for, for health purposes and so on uh, as well as other forms of training all that will take place here within this region as well within this area and we'll also uh, make some of the funding available to make sure that the project that is being uh, put in place by RESPOND becomes a success. We're hoping that uh, should there be a need and also to maintain some of the projects at, at a later stage, we as a municipality will be more than willing to participate just to make sure that they are sustained in pristine condition because RESPOND is chipping in and is doing some of the things that we have wanted to do as a municipality for a, a long time. In Hardenburg, we are providing a respite centre for orphans and vulnerable children, where the heads of the household are as young as 12 years old. Looking after their brothers and sisters has taken away their childhood, the mums and dads lost to HIV, AIDS or tuberculosis. The Respite Centre can cater for up to 50 children, as well as provide treatments for adults with HIV and AIDS. When Yang Labantu ran its first respite weekend for these children, nearly 2,000 turned up. None were turned away. And for one weekend, they were children again. The uniforms you see demonstrate the commitment the children and their parents make to their education. Each uniform costs almost 50 weeks of the average pay for a household in these areas. You cannot enter the education system without a uniform and therefore they are kept in pristine condition. We are very glad. We have been waiting for this day for long. We hear, we hear what Africa is saying, what Africa is calling, and we in Ireland are responding to it. We are seeking your help to deliver these projects in an area where need is so great and survival a day-to-day -day goal. Participate in the projects by giving your time to organise a fundraising event or take part in the many events Respond is organising. For more details, call one of the following people in your region on 0818 Three five seven nine zero one, or log on to respond.ie and go to the section on South Africa.